when we first started posting our videos on um, on social media, we started on Vine. It was an app called Vine, and we started posting there. It was a lot of singers on there, so we would watch a bunch of singers like, oh, this note's sweet or this sweet, and then we would try to remake it and do the same thing they did, but do it in, you know what I'm saying, harmonize it with each other. Our first video ever was on, like it came from Vine. It was an Ariana Grande song. <laughs> It was it was called um, the way when she came out with that song we harmonized it and we posted it but we were um, we was doing it for fun at first but then actually we didn't know it was gonna turn out that big so then we started posting more and more it went from like okay you get a hundred likes okay then now you're getting 500 likes okay now it went to a thousand then it's like it automatically motivates you like all right let's keep on posting and you know what I'm saying we can actually get somewhere Vine kind of um, died down and it, and it shut down and then we went to Instagram. We already had like a couple hundred thousand on there from Vine, because the ones that was on Vine, we had almost a million on Vine. So the ones that was on Vine was following us on Instagram. After that, December of last year, 2016, we started YouTube. So we posted um, two mashups and they did a million. And after we would just start posting them like once a week. How YouTube has impacted our life, me and my um, brother life is, good ways is, you 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 post and you you know what I'm saying you keep trying to you setting goals to get you know what I'm saying get people to watch your stuff and it didn't help us get our music out there and that like I feel like that's the best platform ever like we love I honestly love YouTube it didn't impact our life you not necessarily YouTube it didn't do nothing negative to us but the people on YouTube they say how they feel like well, no matter what it is they they're honest like so if you want to get an honest opinion post your stuff on YouTube. Regardless, you gotta just understand that people gonna say something whether you're doing good or bad, you know? So that kinda, I, when I, we first started seeing negative comments, at first I was just like, man, you know what I'm saying? We just was kinda like like iffy about it. Like, man, I don't know if I wanna keep on doing, but then it's like, at the end of the day, they are gonna say, so it just helped with that. Like if you not used to criticism and stuff like that, it, it, it really helps, so. Social media has impacted our life and so on so many levels, cause so much stuff that makes stuff a lot easier, but it's still, some people get it mixed up with saying that it's easy because you just can post a video and it's just out there. You don't gotta go download, like make CDs and go on each corner and sell them and stuff like that. But so people think it's less harder, but actually it's very hard still. You have to, when you get up there and get so many followers, you gotta constantly, you gotta keep all of them happy. Cause if you don't, it's easy for you to just fall. Okay, so let me just say this. Right now, if you're an internet star and you're a big internet star, you're, you're, you're relevant. You hold as much power as an artist, basically. You're doing a lot of things that an artist that's worldwide can do. How I feel it, it help out with the, the digital world is you got some comedians that's touring the world, you know, like an artist. That's all just them from posting on the, on the internet. They selling tickets like that. So basically this digital world has made it to where, you know, you got singers from Detroit like us that's now coming up and you know, we selling records, we're selling tickets, you know, and you got people, actors, you got comedians, you know what I'm saying? That's getting featured in Medea plays, and you know what I'm saying? That's just getting getting recognized just off of them being off the internet. Like I said, I just feel like if you have a, a good digital presence, that you can you could do something. It's not all about what you want to do. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not all about what you want to do. Do what you like to do, but do what everybody else want to see you do as well, because that's how they're gonna keep watching. So the strategy me and my brother would use was we would think like, okay, we want to do this this way, but they don't like this so you know what i'm saying we can't we have to figure out a way where we both happy so we try to make ourselves happy and them happy at the same time as far as like how right now what's in right now is the you know what i'm saying the trap you know what i'm saying where it ain't really singing it's just like rapping a little bit we ain't really we wasn't really into that we like to sing so what our strategy is right now is like it might be on a trap beat and we'll give y'all what y'all want as far as like the rap, you know what I'm saying? But we still gonna make sure we sing on it too. So that way we both, you know what I'm saying? We both happy. Pay attention to your comments, what they saying, what they are. Oh, y'all should, I feel like y'all should do this more. I feel like y'all should do that. Them the ones that keep on, that's buying. Them the ones that, you know what I'm saying? Coming, trying to spend money to come to your concert and come see you. So I feel like they matter a lot.